A fire risk remains for parts of the Piedmont Triad tonight. High wind gusts and low humidity helped fuel a chain reaction of fires at several buildings in Eden yesterday. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke to witnesses and the fire chief as they begin to pick up the pieces. We're getting a first-hand look today of the damage caused by a fire that caught multiple structures here in Eden yesterday. Witnesses told us that the fire started here at the Lord's Pantry, which thankfully I've been told isn't open. Then embers were picked up by the wind and landed on a home directly across the street. The wind was so bad and for it to spread so quickly, it was it was unreal. It was a scene like no other. It was pretty scary. All this damage caused by a multi-structure fire on Morgan Road in Eden Wednesday. We knew that we had a pretty, pretty bad situation going on, so um, we had to call in additional help. Eden Fire Chief Chris White says crews were on the way to another call when they stumbled upon three brush fires and three structure fires, all burning at the same time. Stella's, um, it's a very well-known place here in Eden and on the cook block. Thankfully, Stella's is safe. A home across the street, however, left to nothing. Now, this area is having to clean up the mess, but it's been said that Eden residents are resilient. The city of Aden, uh, the whole um, community really does come together when something like this happens. Yeah, I'd have to say that our community is superb when something happens catastrophic, you know, whether it be a structure fire, whether it be weather related. The, the neighboring people in this community, they, they do everything they can. We also spoke to the homeowner yesterday who said she had plans on remodeling it. Now the house is completely gone. She also told us that she's just happy that nobody was hurt in this fire. In Eden, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.